This is question number 155 from chapter 1 of J.B. Gupta's book and the question goes like this. For the circuit as shown in the figure, if E is equals to E1, so he is saying that the value of E is equals to E1 and I is removed. When we say that a current source is being removed, we are talking about an open circuit. I is removed, then V is equals to, then V is equals to 5 volts. This is the first statement and the second statement says, if E is equals to 0, if I am saying that E is equals to 0, I am talking about a short circuit and I is equals to 1 ampere. So I am saying that E is equals to 0, that is I am talking about short circuit on this side and I am saying that the value of I, the current source is equals to 1 ampere and I am saying that the terminal voltage is equal to 5 volt. This implies this is the classic condition of finding Thevenin resistance when we have dependent sources, right? So from here I can say the Thevenin resistance is actually equal to V by R, that is 5 ohms. So since we have we were talking about open circuit here, this is definitely Thevenin voltage which is equals to 5 volts. Now the question is if E is equals to E1, okay, E is E1, and I is replaced by a resistor, so we are replacing it. So we are talking about a Thevenin equivalent circuit, and we are replacing the current source here with a resistance of 5 ohm. Here the Thevenin resistance is 5 ohm and the Thevenin voltage is 5 E. What is the value of V? So we will have to find the voltage drop between this 5 ohm resistance. If you see the internal resistance here is 5 ohm and the load resistance is 5 ohm and we have got 5 volts here. Since the series resistors are of same value, same voltage will be dropped across it. So it will be 5 by 2 here and it will be 5 by 2 here. So the value of V will be 5 by 2 which is actually equal to 2.5 volts. So from the options, option B has got 2.5 in it. So it is the right answer for this question.